Hey what's up, it's Zach and today's video is going to be kind of a beginner video on how just to take kind of a sketch or something and vector it and really get it to look the best and just some things I keep in mind when I'm doing line work in Illustrator and maybe some tips and tricks that uh, maybe you didn't know, maybe you did, but as you can see right now I'm not in Illustrator, I'm actually in Procreate on my iPad sketching. Um, I just got the iPad and I really didn't know what I was doing. I think this was the second drawing that I did on it. And yeah, still getting used to it, uh, lots of experimenting. Um, I left all like the erasing and stuff in. Um, the cool thing about Procreate is that if you do wanna record anything, it automatically records it for you in that time lapse. Um, um, so yeah, as you can see, I am in Adobe Illustrator now and I set up some layers and stuff like that. If you are curious about how I set up my documents every time, I'm gonna link to a cue card on that. Um, right now I'm just going to be covering the line work, but as you can see I'm using the pen tool, that's the shortcut P, and I'm just trying to outline all my blacks. Um, I'm really going pretty fast when I'm doing this. I know this is a sped up video, but I um, am not too accurate when I'm doing this at first. This is just my personal style. Um, I like to go quick so that I get natural like kind of movements, but it takes a lot of practice to kind of get used to the pen tool. The best I can say is just take your time. It's gonna take a long time, but it you build up that speed eventually. Um, so now I'm using a Pathfinder tool. This is something else that I use. Like This is pretty much the only two things I use is the pen tool and Pathfinder tool. So pretty much, I'm gonna link to a video on the Pathfinder tool also, if you're not familiar with how that works exactly. but Pretty much what it does is it just lets me remove shapes from the front or back of objects. So like I can, um, when, I, when I'm really loose with these objects, it lets me cut away pieces or add pieces so that I can edit um, and don't have just a lot of little shapes sitting on top of each other. I can kind of keep everything merged together in one big vector piece or whatever, or at least multiple, like, multiple big pieces. And as you can probably tell right now, I'm not using a tablet or anything. This is all just a mouse. As you can see, my movements are kind of pretty mechanical, like I'm moving a mouse around. Um, this That's the great thing about working like this is that I can work, honestly, I can work on my trackpad. I can work pretty much anywhere, any computer. I don't have to have an exact tablet. I don't have to have anything. Like, If anything, uh, I just use tablet my tablet for like sketching and then I use my iPad for sketching and that's pretty much all I use it for and then I go in here and like to get my pen tool and get everything super exact because as much as I like drawing this is exact I, I can go in and zoom in and kind of do uh, once you get used to the pen tool you can get exactly what you're looking for and it makes your line work a lot crisper or more crisp or whatever um, than if you're working with a tablet but that's just my opinion a lot of people um, I see do really good vector work with the tablet so if you're that's how you work, like, more power to you. Uh, <laughs> definitely not hating. Um, so, yeah, I am a little more detailed in, like, specific stuff like teeth and, you know. Obviously, anything that's going to draw a lot of detail, I kind of take my time. And on a lot of this stuff, I will end up duplicating it. Like, as you can see on the outside of the skull, I pretty much just drew the whole thing because I didn't want it to seem like I just kind of... Um, you know what I'm saying, duplicated it from side to side, but on stuff that is supposed to be symmetrical on a face, like teeth and stuff like that, I do just um, copy and paste it in place and then right click, transform, uh, rotate, or yeah, rotate horizontally, I think. <laughs> I always get mixed up horizontally and vertically, but yeah. But yeah, as you can see, I am zoomed in quite a bit. Like I said, I'm getting into the details. Um, the only thing I would recommend against, and this is something I fell into, like a trap I fell into so many times when I first started. I would get zoom in way too much and then no one could even see the detail. And then it's like, what's the point of even putting that much detail in it if literally no one can see it because you're printing it off at like, you know what I'm saying, a 12 by 12 or something. Or like people are looking at it on Instagram on 2000 by 2000 or whatever the pixels are and you put in like you know what I'm saying you meant it, you meant it to be viewed at like 5000 by 5000 it's like no yeah you need to be constantly zooming out and checking like you know what exactly your final image is looking like and you can also use the navigation window I used to do that but now I just um I found out if you hold down alt on and use the scroll wheel you can zoom in and out really fast so that's what I use to check all the time that's why you see me constantly going in and out because yeah I gotta 
pretty fast. And I, I used to do whatever, command plus, command minus, and yeah, that was a problem. I think I keep saying the shortcuts on Mac, like some on Mac and some on um, Windows, but that's because I use Mac and Windows, and honestly, my hands are just trained to know what it is, and my brain's just jumbled. Anyways, um, yeah, a lot of times I do put in little dots and kind of warp them, but that's not really that important. <laughs> um, I would say I'm not even really that happy with the way this turned out, but I think a lot of people don't know how to get kind of the um, super spiky textured looking line work. So I was kind of going a little bit overboard on that just to kind of illustrate like how that was done. And yeah, I have another video that I do a lot of kind of that spiky line work. Uh, I drew a lion that I kind of like the way it turned out and yeah I'll link to that um, as far as this image I'm actually giving it away royalty free on my patreon um, if you're interested in using it on I don't know stickers shirts whatever um, yeah you can get that on my patreon I'm gonna link to that in the description and yeah so I'm about to finish up I'm just gonna save this and everything and if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching Chain on frost as sunny